Hi, I'm Curtis Hicks with UNITA. I'm here today to educate everyone a little bit about the importance of using dust extraction in your sanding processes. There are basically two reasons. Number one is your health. You know, you do not want to be breathing uh, dust. I've often heard people say, well, dust is a natural from a wood, it's a natural substance, and that's true, you could probably even digest it, but it fills your lungs up with dust. That's never a good thing. Now, back in the old days, I've been doing this a long time, there was always dust extraction available, but it typically consisted of a big downdraft table. And so you'd have lots of small holes in it, a big fan to generate it. It was very bulky. Some people built them, some people bought them. They're an expensive uh, part to buy. And it also takes up a lot of room, and it also limits your ability to move around the shop. If you want to sand on one area for a while and you need to do something in another area, downdraft tables are not conducive to that. The reason people used downdraft tables in those days was because sanders just weren't very sophisticated. If you wanted a sander that was going to remove dust, it was much more of a hobbyist type machine. It was definitely not designed for uh, industrial use or for, for medium to larger shops. And the reason being they were typically eight hole, five hole, and they would have a little dust bin that it would catch the dust in. If you're going to be doing quite a bit of sanding, you need to really be able to move lots of dust uh, in, you know, in a pretty quick fashion. So in just a few minutes, we're going to demo that and show you how that works. And the second reason, though, to keep in mind that you really uh, want to uh, add dust extraction to your sanding process is if you do not remove the dust, for instance, when we're sanding this door, if we don't pull that dust off the door, you're just basically driving and re-sanding that dust right back down into the wood. And the number one defect you're going to see from that is swirl marks. If you eliminate the dust in your sanding process and get it off your workpiece, you're going to have a much better opportunity to create a very nice swirl-free finish. So we will demo this now and show you the difference between taking the dust away and not. To demonstrate the effectiveness of dust extraction, I'm going to first sand with our sander without the dust extraction hooked up for 30 seconds. As you can see, the sander's loaded with dust, the box is loaded with dust, the part is loaded with dust. So as you can see from the demonstration we just did, I sanded for 30 seconds without using the dust extraction with our 5-inch Ekasan orbital sander. Now we're going to show you the difference in using dust extraction, so I'm going to sand again for exactly 30 seconds to show you the difference. As you can see, this box is so clean I could eat out of it. Unlike the last demo, it took us a good 15 minutes to clean it up. So, do yourself a favor. If you're not using dust extraction in your shop, really consider it. It's better for your health, and it's going to give you a much better finish. 